welcome back to the Carolina Beat, everyone. I'm over here with agency owner Chad Honeycutt from the Honeycutt Group. How are you, my friend? Doing great. All right, now we're talking a little bit about home insurance. Last time you were in, we were discussing car insurance. Correct. All right, so we did the same thing. We sent out a call to our viewers and we asked you at home if you could send in some questions that you would like to ask this rascal over here. How are you, man? <laughs> Doing great. Good, Thank good, good. All right, you ready for this? Yes. How do I know if I have hurricane coverage? Well, the first thing we would want to do is review your declaration page, and it yep. will show you if that coverage has been excluded. A lot of people just assume that because of where we live that a homeowner's policy would include it, but there are a lot of carriers that will not give you that coverage. Okay, so if the carriers, this is one of my questions from mm -hmm. yours, if the carrier won't give it to you, what are the reasons that they won't give it to you for? Is it about you or is it about the area? It is 100% about the area. They have, the carriers have just decided that in eastern North Carolina, the Renton, the Wilmington area, they have decided not to insure against that peril as why? an insurance word. There has to be a reason. Well, why? we're right in the middle of a hurricane pass, so they know that every year that's going to be a potential loss for them. So they'll exclude that coverage from a lot of policies. Jeez, that makes it tough, man. It does. It does make it tough. Alrighty, what does a percentage deductible mean and how does it work? That's a great question because we, um, with Hurricane Florence, we definitely got this question a lot. Yeah. If you have the hurricane coverage and the wind and hail coverage, it will most likely come in the form of a percentage deductible. And it's very important to know this because that percentage deductible is based on the value of your home. So if you've got a $300,000 home and a 2% hurricane deductible, your deductible is actually $6,000. And does it cover all of the, the um, damage? It would or just 2% of the damage? No, it only, it that is your deductible. Okay. So that $6,000 is your out-of-pocket expense. Do you see what I mean? Insurance can be quite confusing. It can be very complicated. And it, I have to be honest with you, if, you don't, if you're not using a local guy like this one, you know, the questions that I'm asking might sound dumb, but some people, they're asking the same because they get well, confused. Absolutely. And we, we serviced thousands of claims in Hurricane Florence, and that was yeah. probably our number one question. Unbelievable. I believe over 100,000 people were affected here with insurance. Absolutely. That's crazy. I believe it. Okay, how much coverage do I actually need? Well, this we have software tools in our office that help us determine what the replacement cost is of your home. Oh, really? So, regardless if your home was built last year or it was built 20 years ago, the cost of construction needs to be based on what it's going to cost to rebuild your home today at today's value. Okay. So we stay on top of making sure that your home has the proper coverage that it needs in case of a, a catastrophic loss, whether okay. that's from a storm or from a house fire or something like that. So we make sure that your home is properly insured. All right. Well, Mary sent this one in to you. Is my jewelry and artwork insured with my home policy? I would See, I thought it well, would be part of it. It, it depends. Uh, Again. A famous answer in the insurance world. <laughs> um, it depends on the value of, of the items. Most homeowners insurance policies will only give you coverage up to $1,500 for a piece of jewelry. So if your jewelry is under that value, then yes, it's covered. If your jewelry is, or your collection of jewelry is more than $1,500, then you're perhaps you, not covered and we would need to itemize that separately. Yeah, I, I thought, over a value, it would be yeah. a separate policy. Absolutely. All right, now Barry wrote in and he said, "What? Do, why do I have a separate wind and hail policy? I think you sort of answered that. Well, yeah, we you? sort of answered that with the viewer's first question in regards to if it's excluded from your main homeowner's policy, it needs to be rewritten on a separate policy. And, we, and most of the agents in town, we have access to the North Carolina Joint Underwriters for that wind and hail policy, but there right. are also other carriers out there that will include it, and we work with all of those. All right, Chad, again, great information. We really appreciate you. you. If you want to find out more about Chad and the Honeycut Group, there it all is up on the screen for you now. Head on over, give them a call, and as I say, there's nothing better than using a local business to take care of all your insurance needs. Back after this short break, everyone. Thank you.